where the stories come from. You didn't know, he died, young and hard and bad. That voice could fill a stadium, but he spoke low and flicked a glance beneath his Stetson brim at me. I turned away, but I'd already heard enough. The tale began to grow, to put down roots within my brain, already thick with other tales. I chose this job of telling stories, counting lives gone by too soon. What I don't know, I'll guess. I suppose his father made him tough by being cold and rugged. He learned to be a man by never showing fear. His mom spent all her time alone, fixing meals and counting hours in that old ranch house two dozen miles from town before she met the guitar picker she ran off with when the boy was 10. His dad bought him a pickup when he finished high school, took the boy to his first fancy bar. His sister got advice to go to school, find herself a husband, settle down and have some kids. I didn't hear enough to know if it was drugs or drink that got this one, but I can see him gun a graveled curve on some Montana back road, laughing fit to kill as headlights sweep around the bend, baffled when the stars come down to meet him. I can hear the crash. I wonder, did he leave some girl in terror, pregnant with the memory of his grin? Does his dad just drink and stare at empty spaces where he hoped for family, settled on the land that bore his name? I heard a bit of talk I wasn't meant to hear, and now I can't get rid of it. I might as well get dressed and write it down. I'll sleep no more tonight. <laughs>